Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi here, coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I have a chemistry lesson for you on metallic bonds. In this lesson, you'll learn about metallic bonds and the sea of free electrons that help create these metallic bonds. You must know valence electrons, octet rule, electronegativity, covalent and ionic bonds. You'll need your periodic table. Have that in front of you uh, so that you can reference this as we talk about this concept. Although the ionic and covalent bonds are the major bonds, there's this third type of bond that you must consider and that's the metallic bond. And the metallic bond isn't really a chemical bond, but it's still an attraction. It's attraction between the metal ions and delocalized electrons. What do we mean by that? Well, if you take copper, iron, silver, gold, platinum, tungsten, and many other different types of metals, they're able or you're able to take them and uh, hammer them or uh, make them into wire. That is, they are malleable and ductile. Well, that's because of the metallic bond. Let's look, uh, for example, the copper electron configuration. Now, as you look there, there's the uh, configuration and right before you is going to be the orbital notation. And we want to take note of those electrons in the upper uh, shells. Uh, basically, we're looking at the 4s and the 3d. And so right there, those are free electrons that the nucleus has a hard time holding on to. And they're able to kind of move around and get uh, outside and mingle, you might say, with the other atoms of copper. And so those are called delocalized electrons. And the delocalized electrons come from those d orbital. And they're the free electron. And these free electrons are attracted to the positive metal ions, thus creating a bond. And so you look at my little diagram there. When these electrons uh, leave the copper or other metal ions or, or the atom, it creates a positively charged ion these electrons or this sea of free electrons creates this negative cloud that attracts the uh, cations whether they be copper gold or silver and these cations are able to attract to each other through this cloud of electrons now this isn't a real chemical bond but it's still an attraction and therefore we create this uh, bit of a bond that allows metals to be malleable and ductile so remember, ionic and covalent bonds are chemical bonds, but metallic bonds are not chemical bonds. But they're still an attraction, therefore they are somewhat of a type of bond. We call them metallic bonds. And these bonds develop these metallic characteristics. They have high electrical conductivity, they are malleable, and they're ductile. And that just means that we're able to either hammer them out into sheets or into bowls or golden idols or, or whatever the situation might be. Metals are malleable or at least metals with metallic uh, bonds and it makes them ductile. It makes them uh, or makes it so that we're able to make them into wires. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And remember to check out my MrCauseysWorld.com, MrCausey.com, and also check out my YouTube channel. All right. Good night, everybody.